clásicos de, de Chinese Boots. So you guys, this is our first time going out with that baby boy. So we left baby boy with grandma in the house and it's just me, daddy and the girls in our mall. So we have to look for a shoe for mama and we're also gonna go to the Africa shop because the shoe she's wearing is small for her. She needs another shoes. Yeah, let's go ahead. So we left baby boy so that we'll not stress ourselves so much because we are not gonna spend so much time here. So baby boy is chilling with grandma and we are here alone. How you come? They're good for summer. Yeah, maybe this one here also. It's nice, so oh. I like it. But their shoes is down. It's, it's nice. Hold my hand. Let's go. So, <laughs> bless you. Their yeah, shoes there also for kids. There's another one here. There's no shoes there. Be for kids. No shoes for kids there. I saw him. Oh, oh. oh. What she was thinking is. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. This one is one fifty. I'm here now. Come on. The one they were using last year. What's winter shoe now? Where are you going, Mama? Mm -hmm. She's here. Come. Come, Mama. Come, come, come. Come. No, 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 no. Don't follow Daddy. I said come here. These kids can make you to shout, eh? Come here. So we're going for this one here for winter 29. Where are you going? Come, let's go. Come here, here. That one is red. Come here, mom. Come this side, Macroy. Tati. Tati. Oh, take uh, 20. Um, Tati, I think, is good now. So you're going to be wearing Tati very soon, Mama. Huh? You, you are going there kissing the mirror there. No, they don't. okay hi guys welcome back so i have an appointment today uh, with my midwife 
uh, first appointment after delivering so it's been already six weeks plus so i have an appointment today and i'm just so mad because i just missed the bus okay one thing is when you have a stroller you can enter the bus for free you don't need to pay but if you're gonna use train and every other transportation you have to buy a ticket so <sighs> the bus immediately i opened the door from because the bus is just very close to us so immediately i opened the door i was already hearing the sound and although something happened to it so it was going very slow so me stepping out the bus already passed and the sad thing was no. that nobody was in the station waiting that's why he just rushed to go and he went early i was like come on you went early okay when i checked when the bus is going it was showing me it's going 59 but i went out already 57 and the bus was already there he couldn't even wait just walk but yes i'm just going down to our centrum and hopefully i can catch it here because he used to go around before he comes to our centrum here because man i don't want to pay a ticket since i can go for free i don't want to pay a ticket and it's not like i'm late i'm not late i have like one hour i have appointment in one hour time but i just want to go to the mall and just go around before i have my appointment since daddy is going to the gym now and the girls in school so i was like you know i don't want to stay alone in the house so let me just go now and go around and check some things before i go to my appointment but yeah anyways i hope i'm gonna catch the bus here if not i'm gonna be very mad <laughs> that i have to buy a ticket and use train i'm gonna be very very mad <laughs> but yes because man we need money oh. the way things are expensive in this country now eh? hmm. Hmm. if somebody will not just live with bread and water i don't know things are very very expensive nowadays and it's just so 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 crazy but yeah let me rush and see if i can catch the bus here it's running for the bus even that woman there running for the bus oh my goodness this is freedom for you the stress is much <sighs> okay i'm just so mad now no place to enter the bus if I cut this bus in our house there, let's go use strength though. Let's go use strength because, man, this driver, I don't know his problem, okay? I really don't know his problem. It's like he's have issue with me. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let me go use the train, yeah. This is Sweden for you. Like, the stress in this country yeah, is just too much. It's just too much. You rush to use bus and then there will not be a place in the bus you have to wait for the next one and the next one is coming in 30 minutes time i'm like yo i'm not doing that uh, can i even see when the train is going yeah in five minutes right oh it's four minutes now okay let me rush i'll catch you guys soon okay ah okay made it with the train so let's go
so let's go to our appointments now i have like 10 minutes left for the appointment and i did not buy anything actually and it's not like i came here to buy something i just came to you know check and look around and I actually like the many things that i saw um but we're not buying anything today making some curry chicken very quick so we're gonna have it with some rice I'm just gonna cut the chicken I'm gonna season the chicken and I have some paprika powder that I'm using just a little paprika powder then I have some nutmeg I love the taste of nutmeg in meat it's so delicious so I have some nutmeg I have some salt We have some all fake seasoning. Then I have some um, oh, chicken. Uh, no beef seasoning. Then I have some uh, ginger. Just a little ginger. So that's what I'm using to. So that's what I'm using to season my chicken. So I'm gonna add some oil. Onion and garlic.
this all water mm -hmm. yes so all this uh, chicken stock and did not add water is the water from the chicken so our chicken is almost done almost done so let me test the salt yes it's enough So now I'm going to add my curry. So I have one spoon here of curry. Let's see. If it's not enough, I'll add more. I think I'll add half and then because when I put the cream, so I'm adding another half. You can just add water if you don't want to add any cream and it's perfectly fine, you know. For me, I'm gonna add some cream. And this cream is gonna make it heavy. You can see the color is not so yellow anymore. So if you want it to be very very yellow then you don't need to add the cream you can just add water so i'm gonna leave it to cook then it will be done Dinner is done and it's ready. We have some rice, we have some chicken curry, and we have some salad. Enjoy! So, hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. We are fine. So, I just want to quickly fix myself. Uh, fix my hair because uh, we're going out actually so baby boy has uh, an appointment today and um, he's gonna get uh, his first uh, immunization today so um, we're going out very soon in like uh, 40 minutes but yes yeah, so I just wanted to talk to you guys more before we go because uh, we've been getting so much of these questions and I even got some on my Instagrams, uh, people DM me. Um, so you guys are asking, where is Adana? Uh, you have not seen her in the vlogs for a very long time. Uh, where she is and all of that. So uh, the thing is, 
I already have a video where I talk about her, uh, but uh, I understand some people are new, they are not really familiar. I mean, not that familiar, but you understand what I mean. I mean, you are new in the channel, you are new in the channel, and uh, you kind of don't see her. And uh, of course, you're gonna ask, like, where is she, where's your daughter, and all of that. But yes, so I'm just gonna explain something very quick. Um, okay so yes uh in case if you're new to the channel you really don't know uh adana is my husband's first daughter not mine uh she has a mom in her life uh, which she's living with so she's living with her mother and uh, she's always lived with her full time so the thing is uh, when my husband and her mom separated uh, my husband moved from where they were all staying together from that city moved to this city where we are living uh, then you all know how it is here in Europe you know uh, when you have a child and the, the parents are not together anymore so uh, <coughs> of course you can have the child 50 50 but in her case it's not possible because uh, the two parents are not living in the same city and uh, the girl needs to go to school so uh, she cannot be going to school two weeks there and then go to school two weeks here so it's just going to be confusing and she cannot like miss school for two weeks just because she have to stay with another parent you know so it's just uh, very confusing and not good for her uh, so uh, yeah she's living full time with her mom and not the dad i mean my husband so she used to come to us uh once in a month and uh yes so whenever she was coming you guys saw we were, we were all together and uh, had her on the videos okay i'm fixing this hair so good but <laughs> i never even do a very good makeup or anything but yeah it is what it is so yes as i was saying so the girl lives with her mom full time and not with us she was just coming okay because she have to spend time with her father because uh, the child need both uh, the mother and the father's affection in her life so she had to spend time with her father and her mother and also now when me and my husband have kids together so definitely she have to spend time with uh, her siblings here as well uh, but yes anyways so why you are not seeing her in the vlogs anymore uh, seriously honestly speaking guys everything is not for social media and uh, i guess or oh, i hope you guys do understand that that everything is not uh, for social media uh you all know she's with her mom and not with us and we cannot just come here and uh, spit out all the tea you know i mean most of the videos here i'm the one speaking and not uh, daddy speaking you know so uh, i cannot just come here and uh, be telling you everything like uh, you know why she's not coming and yada 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 you know i cannot do that is not nice uh, she's just a child uh, she has a mom which uh, I think or I feel like uh, you know um, I got to respect her privacy yeah I got to respect her privacy because um, the child belongs to her and uh, belongs to my husband so we cannot just come here and uh, say everything you know I already said this before if you don't see her in the vlog that means uh, she's not here she's not here with us that's why you don't see her in the video and there's no how she'll be in this house and uh, we make your vlogs and stuff and I will not see I will not uh, show her it's not possible so uh, if you guys don't see her that means uh, she's not here she, uh, so last time you saw her in the vlogs that is last time we also saw her and uh, it's not like uh, she's not well she's well she's feeling well everything is good with her nothing is wrong with her but it's just uh, you know 
things are the way they are you know uh you cannot come and be all the tea here <laughs> i hope you guys do understand and i know some of you may ask like okay but uh, is daddy not doing anything about it like you know see how something of course the man is trying his best he's trying everything he can to see her but uh, things goes the way they go man you know so it is what it is okay it is what it is uh, maybe when she grow because now she's still under her parents uh, how should i say it uh, her parents are the one deciding for her you know she's not uh, deciding by herself what she want to do and stuff so uh, maybe when she grow and uh, when she's able to decide things by herself uh yeah maybe it's gonna be better that way uh, should i say that way yeah so maybe it's gonna be better that time when she's able to decide things by herself but now since her parents are still deciding things for her so um it's this decision that uh, she have to follow you know uh not her own so uh yeah but yes so i understand uh we do appreciate your guys asking but um, she is fine she's doing well she's good so whenever she comes of course we're gonna show her you guys gonna see her but if you don't see her know that she's not here she's not around and uh, daddy behind the scene he's trying his best to bring her here okay so uh yes that's all i can say and i hope you guys understand and also understand the privacy uh, of our family and also her mother and yeah everybody <laughs> you know so i hope you guys understand the privacy because uh, she's just a child and this is internet you know internet never forgets you cannot just come here and be saying many things here and there you know and then after I'll be like oh i don't know what so yes but she's fine she's doing well she's with her mom okay that's all i can say yeah <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Let me finish this hair quick. <laughs> I love this hair. Like, seriously, I really love it. I really, really love it. It's so full, so nice, so good. So, this is the hair that they gifted me on my birthday last year. My 28th birthday. Oh my god. The girl is about to be 29 this year. We're gonna turn 29 this year. Next year, 30. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I have so much anxiety about being 30. Like, I don't know. I feel like I just want to be on my 20s. You know, you're a baby girl when you are in your 20s. Yeah, you're just a baby girl. That's how I feel, okay? I'm not talking about you, how you feel, or how you see it, but that is how me, 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 I, 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 that is how I feel about it. Like, you're just a baby girl when you're in your 20s, and immediately you enter 30, you are tantin, tantin, oh, tantin, that is auntie, you're an auntie, you're not a baby girl anymore, you're an auntie, oh. Now, I'm not an auntie, I'm not a baby girl, I'm a mother, but I'm still seeing myself as it will begin because i'm still in my 20s yeah <laughs> i'm still in my 20s so i definitely see myself as a baby girl but um, baby girl for life though even if we're 30 40 50 whatever baby girl for life okay baby girl for life but yes so i'm gonna be 29 this year oh my god mm.